So conditions are basically uh, different little branches that, uh, depending on a certain parameters, will be either played or not. So I can just go into the same little scenario. I can even full view it and say, though, so this is just the place where I'm interested in, in working at the moment. So I'll have another little interval here. I'll maybe start with a, a transition straight away. I'm allowed to do that. So this will play instantaneously from this point. And then I can uh, start with my first little timeline and I can grab another little timeline here in parallel. So now if I click on the state that begins it, I can see the trigger here that we, we know how to use now, but I can also use the condition, which is this uh, C uh, icon here. And if I click on it, I can see that there is sort of a, a shell that goes around both of the branches. So a very, very basic usage. You can see that this is always true. And what will happen with our play is that straight away, it's instantaneous because I have an instantaneous interval here, the transition, and it goes straight into the condition and the condition is true. So both are playing, right? I can also set this to never and this to false as well. And now it's never going to play, right? The thing I want to do is that I want to maybe sometime play the first one and maybe some other time play the second one. So what I can do for this is say that this one will actually be in its own uh, event. So here we have a plain line connecting the two. So they are in the same event as we can see here, but that's not actually what we want. We want this one to be its, in its own event. So simply I can use this function, which is split condition. And if I use this, I can see that now the, the line is uh, dotted. We have access to directly just the sync that contains both events that each have their own condition. And in the, the events, we have the state that starts uh, the little interval. So now I can maybe set one to be, uh, I can select maybe this and I can say this one is never play and false like I had before but uh, maybe uh, this one is uh, uh, always played, right? So now what I'm going to have is that I'm going to have one that's never played and one that is always played, right? I can uh, maybe use an external controller like this control I have right here, the continuous control 15. And I can select this one and I can say, okay, it's not gonna be never played. I want it to play when the controller is uh, inferior to a certain value. So I'll, I'll select this controller, I put it in the address box at the beginning, and if it's inferior or equal to say 64, this branch will be played. And if the other one right here, the other one is not gonna be always played, I say only if it's strictly superior to 64, I use the same controller, I put it in the same address box. I can change the operator here, but I'll, I'll choose strictly superior to 64. Then uh, this branch will be validated. So now I have my uh, controller at 22. So normally, yeah, it's just the first one that plays because the value is lower than 64. Now, if I play this again, I put the value at 178. You see that is only the second one that is played. I'll just do another little system just like I had uh, prior. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect those uh, vertically. You just connect them vertically like this. So they actually end up in the same place. And this is from this place that I will go back to the beginning and be able to reevaluate the condition. So I want this to also be in its own condition. So I'll just disable this one. Oh, okay. I have a little, okay. It was just a little graphical bug here, but nothing to worry about. So what's going to happen is that I have a, a loop here that it will loop continuously. Maybe uh, I'll go into my user library. I'll find some good sounds. Uh, I'll go into media. 
maybe something short like this. I'll uh, zoom out a little bit to see all of my all of my scenario, or maybe I can uh, shrink it. I don't really need to see it. Uh, so if it's taking too ma too much space vertically, I can always shrink it. Uh, and I'll do the same for I don't know this one. I just put it here. I shrink it again. And now what will happen is I play the first one. I put my fader high, and now it's playing the second one. I put my 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 one low, and it's playing this again. And I'll, I'll stay low, and it's playing the same again. 